Hello and welcome back. So this is the exciting part. Let's get into seeing which one you are most likely resonating with. And again, I'll remind you, this is like the broad spectrum idea, but it gives you a really, really good starting point to understanding how much science, technology, and how well this is going to be so perfectly in tune with you. So how to have your ultimate healthy, empowered body and have a successful lifestyle. Would you agree that you need to have a marrying relationship with your body and your mind to keep going? But what do relationships take? Crazy amounts of time, crazy amounts of energy, and a lot of guessing. What foods need to be consumed? What times? What amounts? What exercise are we meant to be doing? What kind? What time? How long? I get it. We all have little time in the day, and we just want to be making sure the time that we're allocating is actually getting to the point. So when are we meant to be sleeping? What are the optimal hours? What's your natural cycle? What is your optimum work-life environment, schedule, talents that, you, that helps you to be successful? It's a whole lot and a lot of stress. And far too many of you spent so many years up until now throwing spaghetti against the wall. It's about time we get it right. So we want to stop the vicious cycle. We want to stop the repeat dieting. Then we go into famine. Then we fall off the bandwagon. Then we feast and then we repeat. This goes the same within our relationships. This is the same within our food diets. This is the same within our work life balance. What is right for you? It all feels really heavy and complicated. And I want to assist you in making sure that this is the last time you're dancing around the whole subject. Your parents told you you didn't come with a manual. Well, they were wrong. They weren't born in this era. So we're excited to get into this and let's jump in and have a little bit of a look at a couple of the different health types. These are our senses. So if you imagine that you are the linear person, you like things to be sequential, they need to make sense. There's no point going off the beaten track because you know that the beaten track takes you from point A to point B. You have a very analytical, sensitive mind. These people are the ones that are quite sensitive to the cold weather. Uh, they have light bones. They generally store very little weight. In fact, when they get stressed, they actually lose weight. Uh, these guys are best kept warm in main conditions. They get to eat snacks and stuff. They kind of graze like a bird. And as you can see, we kind of actually have a bit of a joke about saying they are like the birds. Um, these people uh, naturally have a sensitive digestive tract because their brain is the most analytical, most powerful source of their, of their body type. Uh, and they uh, spend more time up in the brain. So the less time they spend in the belly, the better their brain will work. So if these people are going and eating salads all the time, these are the people that end up with stomach problems, they end up with bloating, gas, and they get rather distressed because their brains just aren't functioning as well as they know they're possible, they are capable of doing. Then we have our activators. These guys are normally short, uh, more muscular. They, they gain muscle very, very easy. They have great hips, generally a good booty. Uh, they are the ones that are quite fiery uh, and, and very uh, active in life, hence the name the activator. They want to go out there and do all the things. Quite often they're known as being the bat out of the gate. You remember that saying? Um, they eat frequent meals, up to six meals a day, including animal proteins. Now, these are the ones that aren't good at being vegan. These are the ones that actually need to be having uh, a little bit of protein more frequently throughout the day. Uh, and these ones are probably the best representative of the uh, term hangry. Then we come into our beautiful, beautiful guardians. So our guardians are our more heavy set people. They are the strongest of the health types. They were born to carry the weight of the world. They were born to be here to support others. They have such a capacity to hold great muscle and they're naturally a provider and they conserve a lot more energy, hence the ability to store the fat easily. If your family, if your environment, um, if your workspace is in um, disharmony, is in stress, then you will hold a little more weight, sadly, because you are there to help pick up the pieces. You are the kind of person who is there for the long haul, the long game, and you will often give and think of others before yourself. Now, I've only shown you three of these health types on this wheel. There are six in total, and they come from the mesomorph, endomorph, ectomorph. But every single one of you actually has, oops, I've gone too far forward. Every single one of you actually has an element of this color chart here in different ratios. No one human will ever have the same uh, percentages as the others. This here shows that you will all have a different percentage of each and every uh, health type, but just in a certain amount. <clears throat> so I myself am a diplomat, but I actually show incredible characteristics, physiology, physi Kelly, <laughs> physically and also um, emotionally as being an activator, but I definitely have a diplomatic body type. 
Now let's play a game. Imagine you're in the middle of a workplace. I like to bring it back to this because it, it shows you all so much um, of the different health types. So let's play a game. You're in the middle of a massive project, a huge deadline, and it's due today. Oh my gosh. Here you are walking back from morning tea. You run into that person in the hallway who loves to chit chat and they're so excited about everything in life and they just want to talk to you about all the random things. <laughs> How much out of 10 from one being not so much, 10 being, oh my gosh, just go away. How much would this person frustrate you? Now here, everyone's pretty stressed around you and you know you have tasks to do, but you just can't wait to speak to your workmates about the things you've been doing and what's been happening recently because they're all so much fun, cool things and you know that everyone would just love to hear about it. Yet your workmate, you can tell he's totally shutting you down, barely paying attention. They actually seem rather cold and as if they don't care and you just want them to be less rigid. You just want to connect with this person and help them to smile and feel better. And you're probably the person that takes the selfie and sends it around the entire workplace in an email just to help them make it feel, help them feel a little bit happier just in that moment in time. Out of 10, how much would you be this person and how much would that person shutting you down affect you? You are over everybody demanding your time. You've been sitting for far too long. All you can do is think about how to escape to the kitchen, the toilet, or somewhere to move your body. You feel trapped and bored and desperate for some stimulation, some movement, yet these people are just so frustrating. <laughs> you really are excited for the weekend though. You can't wait for dance class and rock climbing and hiking and catching up with friends and all of the priorities, right? Which, how would this relate to you? Do you think this would be your kind of deal in the workplace? Now, this is that person who's flying into the office. You just wanted to sleep in and yet your alarm is yelling at you. You feel overwhelmed and overloaded and resentful that the deadline is looming. You thought you would have more time, but somehow everything has come to a head right now, today. Not to mention there was traffic on the way and you really just want to climb in a hole and not bother. All this pushing and you feel like you're being over demanded. How much would this affect you from a scale of one to 10 or how much would you relate to this person from one to 10? So you've been assisting everybody leading up to the deadline. You're up late last night making a lasagna because you know of all the madness tomorrow. You're pretty sure that if everyone has a happy belly, all the natives will be so much more friendly and will play much more uh, nicer together and be capable of getting everything done. Stress is done best with a full belly, right? You were the, also the first into work. You made sure you jumped in through everything and made sure everyone's areas were tidy. Maybe the kitchen was stocked, making sure the toilets were clean. Just making sure that there was nothing that could overstress anybody so that everyone would be able to be more capable in their day. Now that you know everyone supported, you'll be able to get onto your work quickly so that, because you know you'll be needed later to help support extra with those who are going to need a little bit of extra attention. How much do you relate to that person? So now you're sitting in a nice, quiet, nice, quiet office. You can hear everybody outside making a ruckus. Quiet music, brown noises in your headphones, your noise-cancelling headphones. You've got a checklist almost finished. In fact, you can see I've made this slide a little differently, specifically for this person. You've already anticipated some of the other co-workers falling short and you know that you have the strength and the backups knowing that everyone will probably be running a muckus and falling behind. You have made sure that you are going to have an opportunity to hand in your work early. In fact, you've even already messaged your boss and said, hey, I'd like to resubmit my, my information early. Can I have an early minute? Because you know it's going to be ridiculous at the end of the day. Safety first for yourself. How would you relate to this person? So guys, if we scroll back, let's have a look at this. So this first person here who was getting annoyed at the other chit chatty person, these are our crusaders. These guys are on a mission. I don't want you chit chat until later. In fact, could you just schedule me in a time that I need to be able to speak with you? Because otherwise I just have other more important things to do. Not that you don't care about other people, but you just have a goal and a target and that's what's more important to you. Generally, these people are quite slender. Their body will be, um, things like their calves probably will be rather slim. They have a, a larger upper torso generally, uh, but their legs are generally relatively skinny. These are our crusaders. Here we have our beautiful connectors. And some of them are a little chubbier, good, nice waist on them. Um, but these guys hold a little bit more body weight, just a little, just a little, because they are the energy ball. 
they are so full of life, so full of energy. They care about everybody else and make sure that everyone's happy. They're normally quite empathic without even realizing it. They just sense other people's energy and other people's emotions before they do. And they really do love being a part of the herd. They love groups of people hanging, chit-chatting about nonsense. These are our connectors. Next, we have our activators. Our activators sometimes are the menace, but they're the ones that like to be doing and moving. They're quite aggressive. They will run at the gate, hit it, fall back, and then think about think, thinking things through again. So these guys are the ones that are quite reactive, but they're great at doing many things at once. These are our activators. Oh, and they're also quite muscular. So we actually went through the activators before. Here we are late. Terrible time representatives. We like to have a, a schedule, but we also like to have flexibility. And we don't like early mornings. We don't like to get up at all in the early morning. We actually prefer to sleep in and have a later night. Uh, we don't like things being pushed upon us. And we really are the people that like to have things our way in our time. These are our diplomats. This is myself. This is, you feel like you're being over demanded all the time. You just wish there was more time in the day. It's a very common comment for a deep diplomat to have. These are the big resilient bodies. We have a, we're generally a lot taller. Um, we have a, 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 an even body, great at building muscles. We have great dense bones um, and, and great jaw lines and great calves. This health type is the diplomat. Then we have our beautiful caring guardians in this group. So these are the ones that will do everything for everyone else beyond the capacity of doing it for themselves. These guys are the ones that are always thinking of others first. They just think of uh, all the caring, nurturing things before they get into it. They are great at being a uh, CEO of a business because they can be the strong one. They will take on so much. They have big shoulders and heavy bodies to make sure they have everything they could possibly need for the long haul, for the famine, to make sure that they are there to ensure we can pick up everybody else at the end of the time. <laughs> These are our guardians. Then we come to our last one. You're sitting in a nice, quiet place. These guys are quite slender, quite linear, very highly effective humans. They do not like being disturbed, but they also hate loud noises. They really do best and they really regain their energy by going home and getting a little bit of uh, quiet time to themselves. They are very analytical. Uh, there's no point in being uh, surrounded by nonsense because that's ineffective and that could cause wasting of energy. These guys, their bodies don't hold much weight so they need to be cautious of how they're spending their energy. These are our senses. So I'd love to hear which one of these you relate with the most and uh, jump out of here and jump into the videos below and click on the corresponding video that you think best represents the kind of person that you are. And I look forward to seeing you in the program.